You call that a hit? Stitches hungers. Hey, Skelly. Ah, uh, you can't... How am I supposed to... I don't know, there's always the invention of writing stuff down. My bow. You're using that thing now, huh? Darkness give me strength. A divine arrow. There's only one heavenly archer I know of. Well, several. I heard about you. Look, I'm not like all the others on Olympus. The power of the hunt helps keep me company, so maybe it'll help you too. Sounds like good company to keep. Mountain chamber. Crisp. Lady Artemis, I hope that you'll accept this offering. Hey, thank you for this, really. And I've just the thing to offer. Lady Artemis, you honor me. In the name of Hades.
key to a weapon. giant evil crystal then. In the name of Hades. Lost souls with nowhere left to turn congregate in deepest Tartarus, where they fuse together with the earth itself into odious forms which defy description. They basically turn into big crystals. Oh no. 
My subjects wish to have a word with you. Whoops. Enough, I have better things to do. Well, that's better. Know that I admire your Lord Father very much. For his grim work lets me continue mine. I trust that one day you shall settle your dispute. Your power, Lord Ares. Maybe I'll get out of here yet. One of them's going to be mad. Forget this. You would deny such aid as I would offer you. How rather disappointing. You've more to learn about the art of dealing death, it seems. Ares, forgive me. back there, though you are fortunate I'm in a giving mood. Should be useful. Delicious. Hades ought to lock you up rather than let you run amok in his domain like this. I'm sure he'd welcome all this feedback from you, Meg. 
Or maybe you're just pining for my father's job? I have no envy for your father's position. Besides, I happen to enjoy my own responsibility. me, father. So much for Tartarus. Made it to Asphodel. The bloodless lion wait out there, I guess. like a bat wing. In the name of Hades, Olympus, I accept this message. Hey boss, found you. Good. Hermes, at your service. Pleasure. 
You are the talk of Olympus. Normally I wouldn't get mixed up, but for you, I'll be making an exception. Now come on, we've both got places to be. Appreciate the lift, Lord Hermes, sir. Now let's go. of coin.
Until next time, gigantic Gorgon head. Oh, Zack, man, you look positively knackered. You be sure and take it easy if you can out there, all right? Yeah, maybe this will help. We can switch to a different boon. This must be on break. Forget something again. You're getting somewhere with that codex, lad. I'm pleased to see it. My duties to the house have meant that lately I can't travel quite as much as once I did. I'll try to travel for the both of us, Achilles. I've seen so little other than these walls. No sign of Cerberus for now. I see you've decided to come home. Changed your mind yet? Or looking for more pain and suffering? More pain and suffering for sure. After all, you taught me to appreciate the finer things. You keep telling yourself that, boy. But mark you my words, sooner or later, this life that you have chosen for yourself shall teach you I was right. Good talk. Good talk. The lounging area within the House of Hades is a dismal place to be, in spite of its intended purpose to enliven the house's grim inhabitants. It's better than nothing. What's for breakfast? Wretched broker, what's new, my friend? Take the special, please. I uh, hope you're having a nice day. Even though you don't want to live here anymore, Your Highness. And there she goes again. We each have our commitments to this house, Megara. There is no shame in yours. And whilst your sisters are away, you bear their burden of responsibility as well. 
I understand. It's just, am I supposed to keep pretending nothing's changed? This house is cracking at the seams, and no one's going to admit it? The house shall stand eternally, although in what condition, it is ours to decide. Our obligation is to keep the house in order. I know. You're right, of course, you're right. I'll do my best. I'll do my best for both our sakes, Nyx. What was that about? I want to go lie down. It is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the Underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? Well, I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever-dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as willful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the Prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his Lord Father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades. I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But, but father always said that Nyx was m That liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone, and why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. You... why? You... you're... Nix, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know, but only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder, will you even remember me?
there. You're pretty quick, you know, boyo. Just be sure to use that fancy dash of yours and keep him guessing. Don't let him catch you standing still. Dash like mad instead of standing still. That's not the worst advice, I guess. Let's see what's in here. You just shield of chaos. Lend me your power. Hey, nice. Got something new to try. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> 